Right, somewhat anxious, anxious, because yeah, you can hear me, yeah. There should have been music on the the intro bit, um, and if there wasn't, I'm concerned that you can't hear me either. Right, yes, you can hear me. Brilliant. Welcome to the bizarre spiritual penance that is Bell's Kitchen, where once a month. I was good, I was about to say once more I teach you how to make something, but of course that's incredibly far fetched, isn't it? Um, I just attempt to make something in front of you, um, and just sort of cross my fingers and hope for the best. Hope I don't drop it all on the floor. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Um, uh, yeah, we're making korma with pilau rice. I'm gonna need my glasses. Where did I put? Sorry, I don't. I've not put my glasses on, and I'm like. Trying to read the chat. I don't know if I can make the text. Doesn't matter. Um, making korma. D just to respond to people in the chat already. No, I'm really bad with spicy stuff. Um, deal with it. What's this? What's Colin? It never taught me anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Um, uh, yeah, I can't. I can't do spicy food. Have we all clocked that I'm wearing my own merch? By the way, because that's a good look, isn't it? Um, if I see any of these at EGX in a few weeks, that'll be incredible. Um, I, don't, I don't know if anyone's... I don't know if anyone's actually bought one yet, but feel free, go to the um, thing. Did I see Matt earlier? What? Why? What's he done? What's Matt done? Is he up to his, his tricks again? Oh, he's got the full... Yes... Yeah, he's got the tote bag and everything. I've never... I've always I liked the idea of a tote bag, but never the reality of it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I've never... I don't know. Ne never appealed. Right. Right, the recipe is from this book, which we discussed the other week. Um, I, I hate the title. That'll be a curry legend, lads. Yeah. Um, but it's actually really good. Um... The main reason is, as well as just being loads of, of I don't know why I'm doing that, you can't really see anything, um, good recipes for curries and like sides and stuff. It also comes with these, which are loads of uh, really useful spices for doing curries with. Um, Vuta likes size, thanks for the sub. Cheers. Um, basically, I mean, you could make these yourself, um, but like, so for example, the top one, the methy blend, is green cardamom, uh, Salem cinnamon, cloves, TGSEB black pepper, whatever that is, fennel, and fenugreek leaf. Um, and I think basically you can buy these for like a few quid each. I think a full set, it's like a tenner. Um, so if you like making curries, it's a bit of a no-brainer really. Um, really useful. TCGS black pepper. That's that's a that's a missed opportunity, isn't it, Matt? <laughs> um, so yeah, um, like they're all complicated enough that it's just like actually just buying them pre-made. Pretty good. Um, so the book comes with them, or if you're just watching this and you want to try this at home, you can buy the spice the mixed spices. Um, who's the book by? It is by. I don't think it's by an individual. It's by the spicery. Which I assume isn't a person. It's not like print. It's not like a title. It's not. Like <laughs> From now on, I shall be known as the Spicery. Um, but yeah, you can find them. I think it's just thespicery.com. Um, oh, you can get a free extra Curry Legend recipe every month with a code. Um, happy, yeah, thespicery.com. Have a look. Uh, the book's on Amazon as well, I think. Right, <clears throat> so to make this cormus, this serves four. I can't remember when I put the recipe up. I think I'm, I might have done it for serving, I can't remember. Anyway, we've got, hang on, let's change to the old, uh, there we go. We got 500 grams of diced chicken or thereabouts. The book says thighs are best, but I hate cooking with chicken thighs. Um, so they can naff off. Um, have you screenshotted and redeem, <laughs> redeem the code? That's all right, mate. I don't think it's unique to this copy of the book. Maybe it is. Um, too late. No, no, no free recipes for me. If you could just forward them over every week, Matt, that'd be that'd be smashing. Um, right. 
500 grams diced chicken. Now it says one small onion. I've got a normal one. Call the police. See if I care. Um, although actually we need a small onion for the, the rice separately later. So I might just cut that in half and then put the other the half I'm not using in another room for later so that I don't cry on the internet. Um, well, so we've got three cloves of garlic. Where are they? There we go, little little garlic alien. Um, da, 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 da. Some fresh ginger. Another little bizarre little creature. Um, half a lemon, again, got a full lemon, see you in court. Uh, 20 grams of butter. That's way too much, but I've left it out anyway. Um, 100 grams of natural yogurt, full fat is best. Um, two tablespoon, tablespoons of sugar. 50 grams of ground almonds, again, come in a bag of 100 grams. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, and tomato puree, which is there. Although I've gone with the weird tomato puree from the... Sorry, I keep holding them in the wrong place. Um, yeah, it's got like pepper in it as well as tomato, but I'm, what difference does it make? No one notice, it's fine. Oh, we've got a sub. Thank you, Andyman949. You are a hero. Um, and then, yeah, and then it also uses, so of the blends... Uh, we're going to use two and a half teaspoons of the Bethy blend, three teaspoons uh, of Haldi blend, and then half a teaspoon of Murchie blend. Um, and then, yeah, and then in a bit we'll do the rice, but I'll go through that separately. The rice seems really straightforward. It's just going to give me something to do when I'm waiting for the curry to cook for like 20 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, right, where are we? I'm going to need like a mixing bowl to start with. Um, so the first step is to mix the chicken with the juice of half a lemon, um, half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of the methy blend. So let's get on it. Um, where are we? I need a bowl. I've just remembered I haven't got a mixing bowl because New dropped it on the floor last week and it's knackered and she said she was going to buy another one and yet it's not here. Um, I'll improvise, it's fine. <laughs> What have we got? Oh, here we go. Hang on, I found the glass one. There we go. There we go. It's fine. All fine. Right, let's get this chicken out. Let's just do the meat first. Oh, it's already, di it's already diced. It's already diced, guys. Oh, Dave Hodgkins, thank you. For the sob, are we are we supporting uh, Tilda Rice in the chat? I'm not really. The, the, my favourite thing about Tilda Rice um, is that I, <laughs> um, I it seems to be fine if you don't bother washing it. That's that's the main perk as far as I'm concerned. I could just tip these in, but I don't want all the gross chicken. Juices. Because who does? Whoop, oh, Jesus. Just drop some chicken on the uh, on the side there. Let's just disinfect that. I love just making extra work for myself. It's great. Right, juice of half a lemon. Let's have it. Do the thing of squeezing it through my fingers so that I catch the seeds, although it often doesn't work. And I end up just dropping them in anyway. That's all of them. Look at that absolutely pathetic grip. <laughs> Drink the chicken juice, it's good for your heart. Oh, fair enough. Um, I could actually do with some help in the old uh, cardio department, so that's good news. Have you ever had to squeeze lemon juice out and forgot that you have a paper cut on your finger? That's a good time. That's a really good time. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Is it free range? I mean, it's, I mean, it's from Waitrose, Nimrod Hicks. So uh, I would assume so, wouldn't you? Um, right, that's the that's the after lemon juice. Then what we're doing? Bit of salt. Bit of salt, half a teaspoon, I'm not even going to measure it, because I'm a maverick. 
And then what was it? One teaspoon of the methy blend. One second, let me get the little measuring fella. I mean, look at this, this little cutie. Look at that. What, how adorable is that? Right, where are we? Methy. One teaspoon of. Perfectly measured. Bang. Into one side, right, I need to mix that and I don't want to do it with my fingers. Let's, where's me, where's me wooden spoon? Don't know where my wooden spoon is. What a shambles. It's fine, I'll just use this. Give that an old stirring. God, it's not working at all, is it? That's, that's too big. It's unwieldy. That's what that is. <laughs> Smells nice. The, the <laughs> The lemon with the spices, is it actually smells really sweet. Um, weirdest thing about this, I don't know if I'm an idiot. No, that's not true. I know I am. But I was surprised that there's no coconut in this. I always thought Cormor had coconut in it. Um, I, was, I was wrong. I am, I will, I'll get my glasses in a minute when there's like a bit of relative downtime because I'm, I'm like squinting reading the chat. Um, right, that's that. That was easy. Right, now we need to use the blender. I don't know if anyone's noticed this fancy little chap here. Um, right, so let's just whack in. What I'm gonna do is, I'll put that to one side. Um, I'll save the onion till last, and rather than um, actually chopping it up properly, I'm literally just gonna go bang, half an onion in the blender. Don't care, don't wanna know, seal it off. Blitz it, I'm not cutting it myself. Right, garlic, three cloves for the use of. I still don't know what sort of um, tone to go with. For this right because people tell me that it's quite relaxing to watch or it's just nice to just have on um so obviously i'm but i'm coming at it thinking like oh i need to be like talking all the time and entertaining and i mean i'm <laughs> trying to be entertaining anyway um in he goes um whereas actually it's well what if i took a more of a sort of asmr approach or just went like full bloody what's his name bob ross with it you know what i mean chaotic needs more fireworks yeah that's fair wind up mate this is this curry does not involve bread and i realize that is a disappointment to all of us um but here we are i'm sorry is that all that Great, no, Amazing counting skills by me there. Yeah, and I'm sorry, Colin. No bread. No bread. Um, hang on, let me just clear this off. We did have a little compost bin for the food waste and it's just it got it got bad it got really bad uh, despite washing it after every change of the bin uh, it was just absolutely disgusting so I had to throw it out and we haven't bought a new one yet uh, right what we're doing uh, so the garlic's in ginger ginger how much did it, uh, roughly chopped to make one tablespoon I mean I mean what are you gonna do what are you gonna do with that what are, you gonna, what are you supposed to do with that little nugget? 
Uh, you almost swore. Colin, thank you. This is a family stream, by which I mean two people have confirmed they watch it with their children. Um, so please respect that. Let's see if I can just get a skin off this fella without ending up with half of it in the bin. Have you seen this? Have you seen the knife I'm using to do this? Like bloody, sorry I said bloody, it's, uh, swearing, don't say that. Uh, like Crocodile Dundee. Which is, of course is a reference that anyone under the age of 30 won't get. Matt swearing. Ellie's in bed. Oh, you can swear. Okay, fine. Um... God, you got LD in bed for 7 pm, Matt. That's some good going. Are we <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Keeping track of my uh, missing equipment. We actually need some oven gloves as well. Because um, New hated the ones we had. And she threw them out. Um, and then just didn't buy any more. I just thought it was very good. I was like, I know they weren't great, but they were better than no oven gloves. <laughs> um, that's the point, yeah, there aren't any mods, are there? Oh, fair enough, Matt. Right, let's just pop this up, I guess. That's probably the right amount of ginger. There you go, do all that. Um, so garlic, ginger, three teaspoons of Haldi blend. Which one's Haldi? It's the bright yellow one. So three teaspoons. Teaspoon the first. Teaspoon the second. Teaspoon the third. Do I need to put any onion, garlic, ginger? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, so the sugar as well. How much sugar was it? Two tablespoons. Hold on. Uh, yeah, but then you add a little splash of water to it so that it actually makes a paste. Um, Higgy, no, you have not missed the Life is Strange episode 4 spoiler cast because we ain't done it yet. Um, just with other Patreon stuff we've had on, plus that state of play thing the other night, uh, last week even. Um, just been a bit hectic. But we'll get it done. We will get it done, promise. We'll, we'll got our notes. Written up. Uh, <laughs> right, bit of water. Now, I'm going to use the blender in a minute. Um, I might just either mute the microphone entirely or just turn it right down, but we'll, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. That's probably enough water. Right, going to turn the microphone right down. Just shout over it. No, I just, it's gonna just, it's gonna be uncomfortably loud. Um, oh, James hasn't taken any notes again. What is wrong with him? I, I'm not, I'm not getting into it. This is a nice, relaxing stream. I'm not getting angry about James Farley. <laughs> right, well, where's my microphone? Right, I'm we'll gonna turn it down. Turn it right down. I think that's probably enough. Um, and can we not 
No jokes about the dropping stuff, please. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, there's still some, like, entire pieces of stuff in it. Hang on a sec. Let's just... Right, hang on. I'm just going to shout, there's like one bit of ginger that refuses to die. Do you know what, right? That last bit of ginger, he's just not gonna he's just not gonna make it. He's just not gonna be part of this grand thing we're making. Um right, hang on, let me just, just use this spoon, scrape that all in. Don't waste any of it. I know uh, we were talking last time about the fact that I've still not done anything vegetarian yet. Plan is, I'll do something for Halloween, something Halloween-y. Um, I was, or I was wondering, um, hang on a minute. If I do one towards the end of October, could I do like a bonfire night one and make like, Toffee apples and cinder toffee and stuff. I don't know. That's maybe cheating. Right, hang on. God, this takes forever. Let's just chuck these in the sink. Halloween blood puddings, that thing. Apple wrapped in beef. Did <laughs> Just great suggestions all around. Uh, right, where's that one bit of... Where is he? Look at this jerk. Get out. It's actually curry paste. I've probably used a bit too much water there. It's quite thin, but whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Right, frying pan. Bit of olive oil. Two tablespoons, but I'm just gonna glug it. Because, renegade. Um, pumpkin carving, I am so bad. So bad at pumpkin carving. Um, no deadbeat punk. We haven't dropped anything yet. That was a one-off, right? Stop bullying me. <laughs> right, uh, one teaspoon of methy blend. Hang on, let's just... I don't think this is worth putting uh, hob cam on for yet. In fact, I'll probably... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... You can basically see it anyway, right? Right, one teaspoon of methy. Shake it about a bit. Uh, half a teaspoon of murchy. Cheers, I believe. Yep, the red one. I mean, that, I guess that's half. Hang on, maybe a bit less, a bit less. There we go. Um, oh, I need to chuck some butter in as well. So that's happy. I'll 
say one thing, right? You know what I'm like about Waitrose stuff? Why don't they have the little markers on it? So you can see how much you're cutting off. Yeah? A Beyond, but what is a Beyond Burger? Dime Bartles, very good, very good cheesecake. The ones you get from Ikea, really good. No, I know I could use scales, Colin. Why on earth should I? I mean, obviously everyone knows the rule with butter is that the more you use, the nicer the thing is. I mean, if that's a 250 gram block, so I need a fifth of it, so yeah, about that. Oh no, it was only supposed to be 20 grams. <laughs> okay, let's maybe halve that. Bang. So, put that to one side. Right. <clears throat> so this is why I hate... That's it. Do, do you know I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to do it. I was going to talk about why I prefer gas hobs again, but who needs it? Who needs that in their life again? And, you know, we were doing well at not mentioning the uh, homemade vanilla extract. Now I need to shut up about gas hobs. Where is my wooden spoon? Oh, here it is. Found it. Sitting in the dishwasher. To wash it by hand like some sort of Caveman, uh, how do you make scrambled eggs on a gas hob? How do you mean? What's what's the? Uh, what's the? I don't know. What's the deal? Why couldn't you? You got better control over the temperature, man. Right, there we go. So you're just frying up your spices for a minute. Get the butter melted. Everything's fine. <laughs> Where are we? No, it says for a few seconds, but obviously it takes half an hour for this to get up to up to temperature. But there you go. Right, add the onion paste and fry for five minutes or until all of the liquid has evaporated and it's starting to brown and stick to the bottom of the pan. Will do, mate. Use a bit too much water um, when you're making the paste. Just means it'll re just this bit will take a little bit longer, I guess. Um. Right, there we go. Um, <clears throat> that should be about yeah, about five minutes it reckons, but we'll see. Um, and then basically, yeah, the next step, add the, sorry, stir the chicken, 200 mils of water, the ground almonds, tomato puree, and a half teaspoon of salt into the paste and simmer for 20 minutes. So that's your, that's your lot, mate. Oh, hang on, that's just like straight up boiling. Sorry, do you want, do you want hob cam? There you go. Enjoy that. Smells really good already, to be fair. You see, to me, that, that, that's browning up already, but it's obviously still very liquid. Um, it won't stick to the pan, as per the instructions, because I'm using my amazing stone pan, aren't I? Um, hey, Luke, if you like the t-shirt, it's available. <laughs> Computergayshow.com forward slash, no, I don't think it's a forward slash thing anymore. I think I have to follow a link. 
But yeah, new supplier, better quality, new shirts. No mug though. Gutted, we're missing the mug unfortunately. I don't know if that, does that link still work? That might still go to the old shop. Um, oh, it's the same address. Cheers, Matt. I mean, to me, that's, that's browning up pretty good. Um, right. Let's get the chicken in, mates. Let's have it. I know it hasn't been five minutes, but you know, life's too short, isn't it? That's the chicken. Where's my ground almonds? So it's like half of that bag. Tomato puree. How much, how much was I supposed to use tomato puree? One tablespoon. Where's me take out oh, It will do. Let's heap it. Why not? And then 200 mils of wow. Where did I use? <laughs> Give all that a stir. Tomato puree is not mixing at all. <laughs> right, I'll do anything I've missed, probably. Ground almonds, tomato puree, half teaspoon of salt. Will I be cooking during EGX? I did think that would be very funny to do. Um, hang on a minute. <laughs> Guys. Did no one notice that I didn't put the onion in? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll just do it now. It's not a problem. I'll just blitz it on its own. Come on, mate. There we go. <laughs> I was just looking at it, I was like, it looks, I mean, it'll be nice. I mean, like, I could chuck it on the floor and start again. Um, like, I, you know, I'm not an onion guy. I could just have it without the onion, <laughs> to be honest. Um, come on, skin. Uh, do you know what? I'm not gonna blitz it, I'll just, um, Got it like a real person with zero technique whatsoever. Oh, that needs skin. Whoops, it is. Sod it. It's gonna cook for like 20 minutes. So it'll be fine. Like I'd be worried if it was a recipe where you're supposed to fry the onions first. Um, but it's not.
Also, as an added bonus, I haven't cried yet. Um, I am simmering the korma right now, Colin. Turn it up a bit, it's gone a bit. Right, should we make some pilau rice? <laughs> So it does mention. Um, so what, what's nice about this book? Hang on a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big camp. Um, where are we? So it, look, it tells you what it's what's good with. Um, it's apparently it's really good with sagalu, which I'm not going to make, or vegetable subji, which I'm also not going to make, but it does go well with pilau rice, which we can find on page one five four. Literally, pilau rice. 300 grams, basmati, got that. Not the easy cook stuff, mind you. Um, excuse me, uh, one small onion finely chopped and 25 grams of butter, easy. Uh, so fry the onion in the butter for five minutes or until soft. So in this, <laughs> um, in this instance, it does need to be fried first. Um, stir in the rice, add healthy blend, add 450 ml of water, and salt to cover, oh, and then cover, to, bleh, then cover and cook for 15 minutes or until all the water has been absorbed and the rice is cooked through. Easy, easy. Um, yeah, fine. Right, I need a pan that I can actually cover, which is, it should be easy. You would think. Chop the onion, get it frying. I'm, I'm almost disappointed that doing these streams, I seem to have gotten over my incredible aversion to cutting onions. Like I thought that it was gonna be like a whole funny thing. Ha ha, Sean's having to leave the room again for the fifth time because he can't breathe. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. Don't know what's going on there. Is there, there's probably some weirdness with like the ripeness of the onion, right? Maybe that's or like the season. I've no idea. No, there's no bread. Stop going on about bread. I'm not doing a bread curry. It's obscene. I don't understand the point of it, <laughs> to be honest. Oh dear. We are making a mess. Um, right, where's the butter? The butter that I put to one side. You made this joke at the start of the stream. Which one? Oh, the, the, the bread thing. No, I know you did. I chose to ignore it. Um, right, where are we? Let's turn that up. Butter will probably take a year to melt. Um, yeah, yeah, if you stream while you're cutting onions, your eyes won't water. So, yeah, if you've got, if you've got a... Um, you know, if you, you struggle with cutting onions, my advice... Get on twitch.tv, set up an account, and all you need, you don't, you know, you don't need my elaborate, incredibly good um, setup. All you need is just a laptop with a camera on you, and you, I don't know if it's if it's important that anyone's watching. Um, maybe it doesn't work if no one's watching. You might have to just get a friend or a loved one um, to tune in, in and just. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, what's this? What has just happened? Luke, you, there's a weird icon and I saw it make a noise, but I don't know what <laughs> Thanks for whatever that is. Um, right, come on, butter. Melt. Sorry, I don't know, you're on the wrong camera here, aren't you? It's, this is the hobs where all the action's happening now. Let's get this out of the way.
Um, Korma is, is looking all right, isn't it? Um, Twitch streams so your eyes don't have to. That's good. It's very good. Butter, do your stuff. So I just, you know what? I'm probably chucking the onions in now, right? It's probably fine. Purple lights. What's going? What do you mean? No, you're quite right, I don't need a timer. Um, oh, is it because that looks purple when it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so in real life, it just looks red. Um, but yeah, for some reason on the camera, it looks purple. I've no idea... No idea why that is. Something to do with physics. This is, No, this is all... Uh, this is the simulation, mate. This isn't real at all. It freaks me out that, um, so for the rice, you just fry the onions and then chuck the rice in and it just says 450 mils of water. I don't think it even has to be boiling first. I think you just chuck it in and cover it and then that's, that's it. It does the business. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, do I prefer my curry with rice or naan bread or both? I mean, both is great. Um, as a child, I'm a big fan of a peshwari naan because it's basically dessert. Um, so yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's my answer, I guess. Peshwari is the best naan. That was a positive response from the chat. Um, you thought my mob might have been pimped by exhibit. I mean, it took long enough to arrive, so you'd hope so. This, when we moved into this house, we knew the cooker we wanted, marched into John Lewis, staff discount, don't have a go. Um, yeah, and they were like, cool, that'll be delivered in about a month. So we had this little gas hob that we had to live off. Um, it's actually was surprisingly all right. Amazing what you can do with just a single hob if you just plan ahead. Um, but yeah. Tim Westwood. Tim Westwood, a.k.a. the reason I joined Twitter. True fact. <laughs> I used to think his Twitter, Twitter account was hilarious. Have we not passed the watershed? No, it's only 10 to 8. Fry the onion in the butter for five minutes or until soft. It's not really soft yet. Oi, deadbeat punk. Language. Watch it. That's a time out, mate. Is that the, what's the, is that the thing to do for a time? No, it's that, it's that. Time out, mate. Time out. Yeah, Luke, the uh, the trick is it has to make a T-shape, isn't it? That's the... <laughs> I don't think James is watching at all, to be honest. Never mind his kids. Oh, thanks for the, thanks for the bit. <laughs> Farley is ridiculous. Did you catch his, his stream on um, Friday? I saw the last sort of 20, 30 minutes of it. It was very good. Dude, big, big fan of the bits. 
Can't lie. Oh, while you're, while you're all here, um, Matt, I hope you're still watching. I think I'm going to move the FIFA streams to Tuesday. Um, because The Apprentice is on on Wednesdays now. Um, <laughs> and as well as... Like, I don't know, it's one of those things, it's not even... I mean, it is good, but it's rubbish, isn't it? Um... But it's, I don't know, it's just been a bit of a ritual with me and the wife. We've always enjoyed watching it together. So, um, plus, I think a lot of people might also want to watch it. Um, Tuesday was podcast recording buffer day. However, my thinking is... Hang on a minute. My thinking is... Um, it's not that, not that... No, Ben, I'm competing in the sense that no one will watch my stream because The Apprentice is on. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm going to... Oh, I better help the BBC out by moving my stream. <laughs> um, no, Colin, this is the thing. I'm conversing with Matt now. Um, so, yeah, my thinking was... Um, because, basically, when it was just three of us, if one of us couldn't make a recording, we were like, well, we need to move it then. Whereas now we're back to four. I think if one of us can make it, we'd probably just deal with it and, and do, do it on the Monday anyway. Um but yeah, we'll Matt, we'll we'll what's at me, yeah? We'll talk about it. Right, let's do this. Given that some of these are burning now. Um Right, how much rice? How much rice? 300 grams. That's a kilo bag. Um so looks like it's time for some guesswork because the scales are knackered. Uh, used to go up against Derry Girls. That was arrogant and stupid, frankly. That seems like about 200 grams of rice. Let's, let's say about Bake Off. Oh, no one cares about Bake Off anymore. <laughs> 450 mils of water. Where's my jug? Quite seem like enough, but whatever. Stir in the rice, haldi. Oh, and uh, one teaspoon of haldi. Which one's haldi, mate? This one. Where's my Where's my boy? Cover it up, see you in 15 minutes, pal, or thereabouts. I mean, this hasn't really worked. Because, yeah, Colin, 15 minutes. Um, I think I, I thought that, oh, yeah, well, I can do, I can put the rice on while, I'm, while the curry's cooking. But then, of course, what I've forgotten is that the, um, the rice also takes 15, 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, I could do with a coffee. Um, I haven't got a camera set up for it. Invest in one of those clip-on microphones. No, I know, I'd, I'd, I really should. They're surprisingly expensive for a good one. I, <laughs> um, what I, I did consider... Um, so anyone who... Now listen, Colin, I do need to show you making a coffee because it's a proper coffee machine, right? It's not on that filter nonsense. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, headset. Um, 
So I've got the one you might see me wearing doing the FIFA streams. That is that can be wireless, but it's massive and would look really weird for a cooking stream. Um, cause it's got yeah, it's got its own little microphone on it. Um, sweaty ears. You're right. Absolutely. Um, I mean, caffeine after 4 p.m. Yeah, why not? I'm knackers. If I want to stay up beyond nine, um, that's just it's just a, it's medicinal, mate. I don't enjoy it. There's no there's no joy in it whatsoever. Um, it's just how it is. I'm afraid. Hello. Sorry, wife's appeared. It smells so good. She, she said it smells really good, guys. Oh. So I think we're all right. Um, don't drink coffee after 8 p.m. Okay, so I've got five minutes. Is that what you're telling me? Um, yes, yes, Colin, I have a wife. Shouldn't you... Oh, oh sorry, yeah, this is the, the whole pretend wife thing again, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Oh, I accidentally touched the the screen. Do you want me to, do you want me to right? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an espresso. Well, it's not gonna be an espresso because it's gonna be like ninety percent milk. Um, because the thing is, I absolutely detest coffee. I really enjoy making it because I was a barista for ten years. Um, but I just, it's disgusting. It's it's soil water. Um, I haven't got I haven't got a coffee can. Luke, I'm really sorry. Uh, right, what do I need? Where's my glass? Here we go. So this, um, this glass, hang on a minute, let's go to, there we go. This, this glass came with a really nice uh, glass tea set that I got for my wife. And um, to be honest, we don't often get time to actually do like, you know, loose leaf tea anymore. Um, however, the glass is really good for other hot drinks, such as um, the Lem Sip and uh, coffee when all I want is an espresso, but I can't stand coffee, so I just want to put loads of milk in it. You just talk amongst yourselves, yeah? I'm, just ma I'm making a coffee. Apparently you don't want to hear about. So <laughs> me. Say that. Where is the coffee? Coffee by the sink now apparently. Oh, Skeptobot, cheers for subscribing. Was it the, me being off camera and just not saying anything for a minute that, that really did it? Um, sorry, you've been asking if I add anything to my coffee. I, I, so I, I, I hate coffee. Um, so I just put loads of milk in it and then maybe a bit of sugar if I'm treating myself, which I think I might tonight. I think that's, that's, that's how I'm feeling. <laughs>
Sorry, I should put it back on the hob cam so you can enjoy the... Uh... <sighs> whiskey is a nice sweet... I've never tried whiskey, funnily enough. Probably because I think it would hospitalise me with one sip. Um... Oh, that's getting... Pasty. Sure, turn that right down now. Rice is looking alright. <clears throat> You're gonna make me do some whiskey on stage at EGX. I mean, I will sue you for <laughs> grievous bodily harm. Um, no, I don't drink Scientologists. That's the point. Like, my I, the tolerance is just that poor. Whiskey will kill me. I have, in my entire life, had one bottle of Bex and it was disgusting. So that's... And then I'm pretty sure that made me drunk. So, I mean, I was like 15. So maybe I was just like, oh, I've had a beer. You know what I mean? Um, do you know I've not had a... I've not had Fentimans for ages. Um, just because I'm trying to, sh sugary drinks are a, a rare treat now. Um, no, I know, I know Bex is disgusting. Everyone tells me that it really isn't the one I should have started with, but or started and finished with. But there you go. That's the coffee machine, by the way. Is that a nice sound? So there we, where are we? What camera are we on? There you go. There's a there's a cup with a shot of espresso in it. Um, uh, to be clear, I've tried other drinks since, just like having a sip of whatever. Um, eggnog, I thought was all right for some reason. Don't ask me why. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, it's not not king. Nespresso, Luke Cage, H four H. How dare you! No, it's a it's a proper espresso machine. Just because I actually like making coffees, it's nice. Eggnog latte, that's that's all right. No, I know there's alcohol in eggnog. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. What on earth is hatnog? Oh, I see. That took me a minute. That took me a minute, Naila Ben, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Right, let's just bung two sugars in my milky espresso. Yeah, I know, I know it wouldn't actually like kill me, um, but it wouldn't be a good experience. Yeah, two sugars. I've not really had any sugary drinks for a bit be fine and then I have to down it in one because coffee is absolutely wait where are we where are we there we go cheers oh oh how do you do it how do you enjoy coffee? I've never, I, I wish. I wish I knew, I really do. Um, <laughs> coffee machine, it's a uh, DeLonghi. Um, It's, it's all right. Um, it was basically a present um, for the wife. No, no, Ben, I, it's even worse if I try and drink it slowly, mate. It's just bad. Bad. Hate it. 
Um, well, see, this is it, Matt. Like, if I need to, like, chuck loads of spices and sugar in it, maybe I just don't like coffee. <laughs> yeah, Scientologist, I get it. I get it. I should like coffee and whiskey. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> what do you want? this has it been how long has it been on the rice does anyone know <laughs> um no i know curly it's just I, I need it to stay awake sometimes 12 minutes thanks colin i mean it looks looking good man actually that looks pretty much done to me The camera's not getting steamed up, is it? I think we're ready to serve. Right, let's let's turn both of these off and get some flipping bowls out. Hang on a minute. Let's let's clear the uh, the prep area. Oh, hang on a minute. When's the yogurt coming? To me? <laughs> Where are we? Yeah, so you stir the yogurt in and a bit more methy blend to serve. I knew I knew the yogurt was just at the end. It's fine. Um, water is good. I just get bored of it really quickly. Hang on, let's just got to seal up your almonds, guys. Got to seal up your almonds. It's important. Someone, some, oh god, deadbeat punk, you've clipped the, uh, the coffee, have you? Alright, that's clear enough. Hang on a minute. Didn't stir the bloody yogurt in, did I? Let's just get, let's just fish that out again. It's fine, no one will know. No one will ever know. It's fine, it's absolutely fine. No swearing, please, Matt. My name is Jim. Uh, I think I'm only supposed to use about half of this. And then what was the, it's one of the powders, wasn't it? Methy, half a teaspoon of methy. Check the what? Check the chicken? What do you mean? What, check it's cooked? It's been on the hob for like two hours. Be fine. I'll right, mix that in. So yogurt's good in a curry if you're a child like me because it makes it less hurty on your mouth <laughs> right there we go that's better and I'll serve myself the one that I nearly got wrong so the wife never needs to know unless of course she watches this or one of you tells her so don't yeah 
I mean, that looks an absolute mess now, but whatever. I mean, so much for that serving four people. Um. I suppose if you had more sides to go with it, a couple of bargees and some naans and stuff, um, you'd, you'd spread it out. But there you go. That's chicken korma, guys. That's how, that's how you do that. Um, what, what else do you want? Um, I'm very excited about this. I'm going to go and have dinner with my wife now. Um, where are we? Here we go. Uh, it's, thanks for watching. Oh, do you want me? Do you want me to try some? Bloody hell! You made, you made me swear. Did you hear that? Um, look, I'm checking the chicken. All right. Oh, look, it's cooked. It's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm, I know I'm holding it there. It's the wrong bloody camera. Fine. Absolutely fine. That is very good. <laughs> I don't know why I do this bit. Because I don't like being watched while I'm eating anyway. Um, but yeah. Right. That's that then. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. And tomorrow... We'll record a podcast. Um, keep an eye on Twitter. We'll see if um, we we agree on what I'm doing with the, the FIFA streams. It'll be Tuesday or Wednesday. be one or the other. Um, but yeah. Um, you want me to throw it on the floor now? Okay. I mean, I've got some I've got some leftover rice. If I just chuck that on the floor, that'd be all right. Um, yeah. That'll satisfy you. Good. <laughs> Right, thanks so much for watching. I'll pro yeah, so I'll probably either see you on the Tuesday stream or on Wednesday night, or if you listen to the podcast, I'll see you on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks very much for watching. And obviously, yeah, so I mean, stick around in sort of 20 ish minutes. Uh, Matt's going to play Sekiro. So um, enjoy that. Ta! Right, hang on a minute. Sorry, we're still on. My wife's just come through with two of these. I don't know when she got them. Obviously, none of them are for me. They're just both for her. She's got a couple of cobras in. Um, like, I just wanted to share that with you. She's just come barreling through, wielding these. Um, yeah. Cheers. See you later. <laughs>